This video is about using z-scores to calculate percentages. It is possible to score higher than 800 on either part of the SAT, but scores above 800 are reported as 800. That is, a student can get a reported score of 800 without a perfect test. In 1999, the scores of men on the math part of the SAT followed a normal distribution, or bell curve, with the mean of 531 and standard deviation of 115. What percent of male math scores were above 800? First thing you want to do is get your pictures ready. And don't forget your labels. Up here we will do the math SAT scores. And down here we will graph the Z score. I've included the mean in each case, 531 and 0. And actually, uh, I'll go ahead and just show you. I see that it's going to be the same thing over and over again, so I went ahead and did that for all of the boxes. Okay, just get it out of the way. Why not? Now, what percent of male math scores are above 800? 800 is going to be somewhere to the right of this. So I'll just come over here. I'll put a line and call it 800. I'll put a similar line on my z-score graph. I'll have to calculate that z-score to find it. Now we want to know above 800 so of course that's going to be to the right. Okay, and it'll be the same thing here. Okay, anytime we're doing to the right, this is when we have to subtract from 100. You'll see what I mean, but I just wanted to put that in your brain. So we need the z-score. So let's calculate that. So we will have a z-score. That'll be the value of 800 minus the mean, 531, divided by the standard deviation of 115. So just put that in your calculator. So that <clears throat> that's giving me a z-score of 2.34. Let's go ahead and put that in the picture here, 2.34. So we are looking for the percentage of z-scores that are greater than 2.34. When we want greater than, we must subtract from 100%. So let's find the percentage um, of values that are below 2.34 and we'll subtract that from 100. Um, all of these are below values so start with the 2.3 part okay so here's 2.3 right here now we're supposed to do 2.34 so for the 4, we have to go over to the 4th column. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 99.04%. Okay, then just do that subtraction. So I'm getting 0.96%. Alright, so that's really, really close to 1% of the people um, that took the uh, SATs got um, over 800 on the math part. All right? It's one out of just about one in every 100 people. Anyway, let's uh, record that on the picture. So here's our 0.96%. Okay, it's a tiny amount. Um, and finally, let's record our final answer in words. So 0.96% of male math SAT scores were above 800. All right, let us move on and see what's next. Part B. What percent of male math scores were between 767 and 850? Okay. Both of these numbers are greater than 531. So I'm going to put both of my lines over here to the right. Okay, so I'll put a line here. And I'll call that my 767. 
and I'll put a line here and I will call that 850. So I want the percentage of scores that are between these two values so I'm going to shade in between here. All right, let's make similar markings on our z-score graph. Okay, so we have these two values. We need to find two z-scores. So I like to divide my workspace up whenever this is happening. All right, so I'm just going to split it sort of like this. So over here, I'm going to do my first z-score, which is going to be... Um, so I'll do my 767 minus the mean, all right, which is 531, over the standard deviation, which I think was 115. Uh, yeah, I see it. Okay, that will give me my first z-score. All right, I'm getting 2.05 for that one. And now I'll do the 850. So that's going to be 850 minus the mean of 531 over the standard deviation. So that gives me a z-score of 2.77. So um, let's go ahead and record those in the picture. So here I have 2.05 and 2.77. So what I'm looking for is the percentage of z-scores that are between these two numbers. So the way I show that is I'll put 2.05 is less than z, which is less than 2.77. All right, this is a mathematical saying, a way of saying the percentage of z-scores that are between these two numbers. Um, I will find the percentages associated with um, these two z-scores, and I will subtract the larger one minus the smaller one. So let's start with 2.77. All right, so where's 2.7? So here's 2.7. And this is 2.71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is 99.72%. Now I will subtract the smaller one, so 2.05. So here's 2.0. And here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 97.98. All right, just subtract those and see what you get. All right, I'm coming up with 1.74% of the people. So I'm going to record that on my graph, 1.74%. OK, and finally, record your final answer as a sentence. 1.74% of the male math SAT scores were between 767 and 850. OK. One more part to this problem. What percent of male math scores were below 700? Okay, 700 will be over here to the right somewhere. So I'll just put a line and I will call it 700. Now I'll put a similar line on the z-score part. Okay, um, we want below this time. So I'm going to shade to the left. As soon as I do my shading, I ask myself, is this the one where I need to subtract from 100 to get the percent, or is this one where I can read the percentages right off the z-score table? And uh, I always remember that the z-score table uh, represents the percentages that are less than. That's what this little diagram means. So since I want less than, 
I can just read the numbers right off the graph. I will not subtract from 100. So um, let's find the z-score for 700. So um, the z-score will equal, so I'm going to do the 700 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Just put this in your calculator and there you go. I'm getting a z-score of 1.47, which I will go ahead and record right here. Now, we need to write the percentage statement. So we are looking for the percentage of z-scores that are less than 1.47. So let's find 1.47 on the z-score table. So we start with the 1.4 part. So here's 1.4, and this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're talking about 92.92%. So there you go. Let's go ahead and record that in the picture. So this shaded area over here is 92.92% of the uh, SAT math scores. Okay, um, and let's record our final answer in words. 92.92% of the male math SAT scores were below 700. And that is how you use z-scores to calculate percentages.